Hi everyone, my name is Emily Hashimoto-Roth and I'm a master's student in the bioinformatics program at the University of Ottawa. Today I'll be presenting my research project titled A Machine Learning Approach to Decipher Protein-Protein Interactions in Human Plasma. Typically, immunoprecipitation strategies coupled to TAM-MS spectrometry are used to investigate protein-protein interactions. However, they succumb to many false positive identifications due to nonspecific binding and contamination. While these false positives can normally be filtered out using a combination of negative controls and computational modeling, existing methods such as SAINT and decontaminator cannot readily be applied to immunoprecipitation experiments done in human plasma because they are not optimized for the immense abundance of spurious interactions. Our objective then is to use machine learning to differentiate between protein-protein interactions and non-specifically binding proteins in human plasma using mass spectrometry data from immunoprecipitation experiments. We first implement unsupervised learning to identify a set of negative controls from a collection of antibodies targeting proteins known not to be present in human plasma. Following this, we use supervised learning to build a classifier, which we've called decode PPI, that will perform the classification between true protein-protein interactions and contaminating nonspecific binding. From the collection of antibodies used for negative controls, we wanted to identify a subset which reproducibly captured nonspecifically binding proteins in the human plasma samples that we could later use for computational modeling. To do this, we ran a hierarchical clustering analysis with bootstrapping and principal component analysis. This allowed us to evaluate the similarity between experiments and the variance within the data set respectfully. In both analyses, we were able to see two distinct clusters, one of which contained a set of negative controls that we could use moving forward, and the other of experiments containing our putative interactions. Prior to building our classifier, we first established confidence in our putative interactions by assigning them scores. These consisted of z-scores and full change values, and we used these scores to establish thresholds. We can then estimate false discovery rates at these thresholds to identify at which one, in both z-score and full change analyses, we identify putative interactions with more confidence. We then built our training datasets, engineering features from the spectral count data, including the full change values we computed. Putative interactions with z-scores greater than or equal to 3 are labeled as positive training examples, and proteins identified in the negative controls are randomly sampled to yield our negative training examples, such that we have a one-to-one -one class balance. We implement a leave-one-out cross-validation scheme when training our logistic regression classifier model and empirically derive an overall false discovery rate from our cross-validation runs. After training decode PPI, we evaluated its performance. We also implemented our methods using SAINT to benchmark our results. Our false discovery rates were estimated at probability thresholds outputted by decode PPI and SAINT, and we plotted the number of identified interactions at each threshold against their respective false discovery rate. We then visualized the overlap of identifications at a probability threshold of 99% between our model and SAINT. Both models also confidently identified the four positive controls present in our dataset. We were curious about the spectral count of the confidently identified interactions and how they compare to what was seen in the controls. The gray cells in our heat maps represent praise that were not detected in a given experiment. Overall, we see that decode PPI is more sensitive than SAINT, as it identifies more interactions as confident. However, its specificity could be improved, as it identifies a large number of spurious interactions that are abundant in the controls. Finally, we found that our model recovers some known interactions. 25 known interactors of the PCSK9 protein are present within our dataset, according to the string database. Decode PPI identified five of these known interactors, while SAINT did not identify any. Two known interactors of the SNCA protein are also present in our dataset. Decode PPI identified one of these known interactions. However, it also identified an interaction between SNCA's two known interactors as confident. 
state did not identify either known interactors with high confidence. To summarize, unsupervised machine learning allowed us to identify a set of negative controls. Our logistic regression classifier model, decode PPI, assesses the confidence of protein-protein interactions in human plasma and outperforms a state-of-the-art approach for standard protein-protein interaction confidence assessment. Moving forward, we will be working to improve decode PPI specificity and validating its novel identifications. With that, I'd like to thank my supervisor and co-supervisor, Dr. Mathieu Lavallee-Adam and Dr. Stephanie Bennett, our lab members, our collaborators in Dr. Benoit Coulomb's lab who provided the data, and our funding. Thank you.